Okay, greetings to everybody. Uh, I wanted to spend some time today talking about the intensity of these planetary shifts and alignments that are happening to all of us right now. Now, it turns out that essentially with every new moon, um, our cells become very, very compressed. Okay, um, and then as we get into a full moon, the cells release. So the, 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 the fluid within the cells, the purified water within the cells, depending on whether or not we're exhibiting the, you know, the correct behaviors to another or insisting creation wherever we can, um, it releases the pressure of those cells. And then, of course, the cycle starts again. And it's also got a lot to do with the fact that we've got the Uranus transit currently in Taurus. So for all Earth signs out there, understand that Uranus, which is going to basically be rather prolific in the way that it impacts your sign will be around for about seven years and it's grounded earth we're fixed earth so we feel it more than the other signs do accordingly and uranus ultimately just will not stand for complacency it just does not like stagnation it won't allow a comfort zone to continue to just be recycled It'll, it'll bring event streams from the future into your now that will shake things up. You know, your relationships will become under the microscope. Your action ability in any given circumstance is going to be, you know, very much, you know, under scrutiny. And the advice that I can offer, having going through it myself and feeling it very intensely, and I can talk about the, what we call the ascension symptoms, perhaps next time around, is the fact that um, we need to evaluate every relationship, uh, the relationship with our parents, if you're young, the relationship with your siblings, you know, um, regardless of whether you're young or older, the relationships with your partner, the relationships with your friend circle or your circle of influence, the relationships with your work colleagues. And you need to look at each one through a clear lens and ascertain the perception of where do they fit within the framework um, of your scale, your musical scale of life. You know, are there frequencies in the amplitude, you know, too, too high? So it's upsetting the balance. It's kind of like rubbing you the wrong way. And what may have been a good relationship and may have served a, a, a strong and powerful purpose in the beginning, just may not anymore. And it's not through any judgment and it's not through, you know, having an agenda or trying to manipulate a given situation. It's just it's kind of reached its use by date. And that's what we need to look at where planetary service is at the moment. And what I'm finding what really helps me to evaluate my relationships is to look at everything through the lens of the gratitude principle. I can't stress enough the power of the gratitude principle, the fact that you're grateful for the prana of the sun beating down on you every day, the fact that your legs move, the fact that your arms move, you know, in the right manner, the fact that your heart beats, the fact that your eyes can see, your ears can hear, all the elements of the space suit, or for you people out there that find that a little difficult to comprehend, just call it the vessel, you know, the so-called body, you know, that holds the embedded consciousness within, okay? Um, that all of that is essentially, you know, going through strong physiological changes. And you have to become incredibly mindful of that. And the more grateful you are for, you know, inviting those physical changes into your being, you're gonna ground your oneness. And the more that you ground your oneness, the closer you are to really being in a direct connection with your higher self and recognizing the divine in everything. Because you also need to understand that regardless of where you stand in the scheme of the 3D illusory reality that you inhabit, you must understand that everything has a right to exist. So what these outer planets in the outer realm of this dimension in this current cosmology are trying to do is re make you realize that, yeah, you can stay in the 3D and in that kind of lower vibration of being very much complacent in typical sort of, you know, behaviors and the way that you express your personality within the framework of 
working with others or you can essentially say wow that's all well and good and that was then and this is now I'm going to work more from a a fourth or a fifth dimensional perspective where I see everything from the perspective of gratitude appreciation valor victory every day is a victory if you allow it to and because we work in music you know that is the the team at transference records and the team at the seven cents you know we exhibit that high vibration through the frequency of our performances whether they're here whether they're in another country um, whether it's a fusion of East meets West or or just more of a kind of a acceptable incarnation of you know commerciality um, it still has the same grounded principle and that is connection so reach out during these transits during these powerful new moons and these full moons and these cycles that are designed to teach us you know we're here on planet earth in the Gaia classroom to learn and to realize that all the trapped trauma from previous incarnations and our so-called karmic influence or karmic imbalance is there not to upset us not to draw us further and further into the you know the infinite uh, layers of the deception but rather to actually educate us as to well hang on a minute I don't want to go down that road I, I'm not going to be accepting of that circumstance anymore that's not what I'm about and so ultimately we we grow and we evolve in that process because we really better understand you know our true nature of self so what's going to happen now with this Uranus transit well we're going into a very very long um, kind of uh, expansive period with Scorpio more and more and that's also going to bring about you know a lot of revisiting we're going to be asked to revisit the past right you know going to be asked to revisit relationships from the past you know there's going to be past loves that are going to come forward there's going to be past relationships that are going to be rekindled and we need to view them from the perspective of well in the current scheme of my own conscious evolution do they hold any weight or are they just there as a distraction as an interference that ultimately you know um, I'm no longer gonna kind of just just allow to happen and I'm gonna be more mindful of the environment that I create for myself so now in order to keep the cells and the pores and the cells of your body the the, the, the language of your circulatory system your endocrine system you know your your physical system you know into some kind of you know forward motion um, meditation is going to help a lot right and what you're really asking for is just to be grounded help me to ground in this newfound energy because it's new energy you know the planets um, have never impacted earth in history like this before we've never had seven planets in retrograde at one time and at the end of this month into the first weeks of November <clears throat> we're going to have seven planets direct so that means that they're all going to be vying for you know a field of, 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 of need to be recognized you know all these planets are going to want your attention that's what I'm trying to say sorry they're all going to want your attention and you're going to need to be able to look at everything from a very relative perspective you know well, what serves my soul what nurtures and nourishes my soul the most if it's out there and communing with nature then make that you know a new code of your daily operation if it's listening to music with good headphones and and you know or go into live bands and, and being sort of exposed to the power and the language that music is then make that basically a part of your everyday code of new operation if it's hanging out and having a laugh with a few beers and you know whatever with a few friends because it's a light-hearted thing it's not about you know judging one another and making each other feel as if 
you know, you're being put under the microscope and being judged by another, then, you know, if it's not like that, then that level of community, that bright light level of community is exactly where you need to be. So look, I hope that this discussion has shed some light because it's really all about light. And for those that are really, really, truly elevated, who are already receiving and, and experiencing the earthly ascension symbols as we go through these transits and changes, I will leave you with this. A deeper shadow aspect of self manifested in the form of a karmic fear, if you like, or a traumatic experience or fear, finds ways and means to hide away within your being. And the more light that you let in, the more prana from the sun that you let in, because you're really, really wanting to lift yourself out of complacency, lift yourself out of, you know, the typical, the mediocre, you know, the conditioned reality that you've been born into from day one. The more light that you let in, the more this dark shadow aspect or these Archon energies get freaked out. And they won't handle it for long. They won't stay. They won't stay attached. They'll want to dissolve. And the more that you ask, you know, you open your third eye and you ask that your divine self that you want to transmute this, thank it for its lesson, humbly thank it for all it has taught you, and then return it to source. Because at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, we are all a fractal of first source. Namaste. Namaste.